Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Hannah and thank you for joining me. So today I wanted to share some autumn fashion with you. So what are the pieces I've been loving this season? How have I been styling them? And especially all of these will go into winter as well. So I, I know we're already part way through autumn, but it sort of carries on as we go into winter. So the first item that I thought I'd show you is the one that's been requested, which is the leather trousers that I made a couple of weeks ago now. Um, so these are high-waisted leather trousers, go into a flare, quite nice and long to wear with a pair of heels. And I thought I'd show you a couple of ways I've been styling these, some ways slightly dressier and some more casual. Okay, so this is the first outfit with the leather trousers and Bear with me, I know this doesn't look that autumnal, autumnal to start with, but I know that we're all from different climates, different parts of the world, so I thought I'd start with this. So what I've got on is a little band tee. If my sister's watching this, I'm very sorry. I borrowed this from you months ago, and I've forgotten to give it back, and then it kind of worked with this, so I kind of kept it. So I will give this back to her, um, but I've got a band tee on, and then my leather trousers, I've got on my feet my Timberland ankle boots, again I'll, anything that I can link below I will do. And then to make this outfit a little warmer I will chuck on a little denim jacket. So this one is from Lipsy, um, you could chuck this over your shoulders, pop it on properly. I actually really like this. Um, done up over the trousers and the boots, I'll pop a little picture or a little clip up there of that. Um, so this is outfit number one, a t-shirt tied up. I think anything cropped looks amazing with sort of high-waisted um, leather trousers. I don't have any necessarily, well actually, I have a lot of summer tops that like, are meant to be cropped and then I crop a lot of t-shirts up. I don't have any jumpers that are supposed to be cropped yet but it is something that I want to add to my wardrobe, mainly for wearing with things like these, because a crop jumper would look amazing with these trousers. But I'll show you next a different way of styling these up with a jumper, slightly warmer. So, as I was saying, cropped is great, but if you don't have cropped, um, the other way to style something really fitted and high-waisted is to tuck a jumper in. So this is a striped jumper from Tommy Hilfiger. Again, had it in my wardrobe a long time, so I'll see what I can link. Um, but I've just tucked it into these leather trousers, and again, it gives a more casual vibe. I've got the same boots on here. Um, the other thing that I like to do is wear a bodysuit underneath, and that's a little bit smarter, so I'll pop a little clip, and that's the sort of outfit that I might wear to work with these trousers on. So the next item that I've been loving this autumn, and realistically every autumn and winter since I was very young, um, is the high leather boots. So I have two pairs of these. I have these pair, this pair which I bought recently from Duo Boots. I will link them below. And I also have some brown ones with a wedge heel, which actually my mum gave me. Um, she probably bought them, well, when I was quite young, so probably in the early 2000s. Um, and she wasn't getting wear out of them and I thought these were quite fashionable at the moment and could think of a couple of ways to style them up. So inherited these off her. So the next outfit is with the black knee-high boots. I've been loving this outfit recently. I've been loving wearing what I bought as summer dresses but as autumn dresses. So this dress I never wore that much in the summer because it's just too much on show. Um, but I love it with tights, boots, a t-shirt underneath. Um, Chris always says it's a little bit like schoolgirl pinafore-esque. But I think this is a fashion trend. I see lots of people wearing sort of dresses layered up and I really, really like this. So with the black boots and a little black bag at the side, I think it dresses it up enough um, to make it look quite cool and stylish. And I really, really like wearing boots like this. The brown ones also go with this sort of outfit maybe with a change of bag, um, but I'll show you those styled, styled up in a second. So again, styling wise, this is a very similar outfit to the last one. 
a sort of summery dress with tights and then I've got the brown boots on this time. I really like these because the top of them gives that sort of cowboy boot detail which I love and is very very in style at the moment. And then I've just got a nice starchy cardigan on to bring it to more like autumn wintery styling. This next item feels a little bit more specific compared to the rest of the items in this sort of um, styling video. But I wanted to show you it anyway because sort of half zips and this style of jumper are very very in fashion at the moment. And I styled this for work um, the other week and absolutely loved it so I wanted to include it anyway. And this is the jumper from Jules that I mentioned in my haul video. So it's got a v-neck, it's not a half zip but it's that sort of style with a little collar and it's just striped. This one was from Jules Designer Outlet but you can't get it online but I'll link an alternative and other stories have a very very similar one um, in stock. It's pretty much identical. So I'll link that below and I wanted to show you how something so casual as this could be dressed up a little bit more. I work in an office which is a smart casual dress code so you can kind of get away with most things. So things like the leather trousers are where to work. Um, which I know if you work in a slightly smarter office then you might not get away with it. But this one I loved the contrast of a dressier outfit and a more casual jumper. So this is how I've been loving styling the striped jumper for like a work situation. It's not a jumper that you look at and you straight away think, oh that's like smart workwear. Um, but with the jewellery, with the trousers, with the heels, I really really like this look. I wanted to quickly mention about jewellery because if I'm honest, I'm not going to mention it with every outfit because I'm wearing the same thing over and over and over again. All I've been wearing at the moment is gold cross necklace, gold little huggies, um, generally just because I'm too lazy to take them in and out and I live in these. And then I've got a gold bangle for when I want something on my wrists. And this is just how I've been loving, loving styling this. And then easily to go to a more casual look, I'll pop on the screen, but change trousers to jeans, put some boots on, maybe a jacket on, just this jumper does it all. I love this and I don't think I've stopped wearing it yet. So coats and jackets I've been loving. Coats are the one thing that through the summer months I miss so much. I love my coat. I love my coats, jackets, have three that I've been loving this autumn. The first one is an oldie but a goodie and it's this military style woolen coat that I got probably a couple of years ago from Monsoon. I'll see if I can find anything really similar um, and link it below but I love this. I love a military coat, military style with the buttons and it's just beautiful. So it's quite a long um, style. On me probably comes down to sort of like mid-calf. Um, but I love this, it's super smart, you can wear it over jeans, you can wear it over dresses. I, I, I love this coat. The next one is my leather jacket. So in the past I've always felt this is quite an oversized leather jacket, it's probably one size bigger than I'd normally go. And I have sort of worn it with like hoodies underneath and stuff like that. Um, but this year, leather's very much in, but also that sort of oversized look, also very much in. So I love this leather jacket. It's a biker style one. It was actually from, it's a company called Gas, which um, sponsor one of the motorbike riders that I follow. So I bought this from a um, race at Silverstone years and years ago, but it's real leather, so it's held up so, so well. Um, and I love the style, love the fit. Again, I'll link something very similar below. So you can always get an oversized bike jacket. Um, but been loving this one. So the next one is, I've been raiding my mum's wardrobe again. And this is an aviator or flying jacket, whichever you want to call it. Really big and oversized, so, so fluffy. They were very much in this year. And because she had one from, again, probably like the 90s, 2000s, and it's just been sat in the loft gathering dust, 
So I asked for it, we pulled it back out and I thought I'd get lots of wear out of it this season. Okay, so we're on to coats and the first one is this aviator jacket. So I generally just wear this really casually. So jeans, boots, something simple underneath. And then I've put sunglasses on because I feel this is a very Pinterest outfit. Um, but I love this. It's so, so cosy, so oversized and chunky. I never did the teddy coat type trend. I think that still is a trend. Um, but I've never done that and I feel like this is my equivalent. It's so toasty and warm. You can obviously pop the collar, pop it down. It's just very, very easy to wear, very easy to play around with and I love the style. The lighting's going in this video so I might have to change it up and pop a light on. So if that mucks around with things then I'm sorry. <laughs> so I haven't actually changed my outfit up since the last clip. Um, because both these jackets I wear in a very, very similar way. Um, I tend to wear boots, jeans, a very, very casual sort of top underneath and then pop the jacket on. It's just one's black, one's brown, but they've both got that leather jacket sort of casual feeling. Um, what I do sometimes wear with this one um, is trainers. If I'm doing a trainer outfit and I need a jacket, then I quite often find that my military coat's a little bit too smart for that. Um, so I will wear trainers with my leather jacket, especially because my white trainers then match with the detail on the sleeve here. Um, I was just checking that I was right sleeve then. Um, so again, just throwing this one on. It's got really great shoulder pads, so it's quite nice to just throw over the shoulders. But equally, if I pop this on for you, it's got really lovely shaping around here. As I say, it's probably a size too big but it's got that female shape, it does come in in all the right places and it just sits really nice and boxy on the shoulders, oversized, love this jacket and have had it for years. I don't think this would be true to my style unless I showed you an all black outfit at some point. So here I've got on my coat which just shines with this sort of outfit. Um, I've got my long boots on, black jeans, a black bodysuit from Abercrombie and Fitch and then the military coat just tops it all off and I love this sort of outfit. It's the sort of outfit that if you can't decide what you're going to wear on a day, you just throw this on and ultimately just instantly feel amazing. Um, so I love this coat so, so much. I'd say if I haven't planned an outfit around a certain jacket, 90% of the time I will wear this jacket with most outfits. The only thing that I find hard to um, style with it is trainers. But if I'm wearing any sort of black shoe, black boot, always in this, always in this coat. So that is that one. We're nearly, nearly coming to the end of this. It has taken me ages to film, so I'm really sorry about this lighting. But we're getting there. The last piece that I wanted to show you, which is again a classic in your wardrobe, really, really versatile, is just a simple little black dress. This one was from Naked. I don't know if you can still get it. I bought it last year, but it's the sort of thing they'd keep bringing out and bringing out. Um, and I've been loving wearing these as a little black dress, but also with like a jumper over the top. If you put a belt on and then tuck it in, that can look really cool. Um, and I've been loving making it a lot more versatile and more casual, as well as having the glam dressier times also looks great with a pair of heels or a pair of boots. So the last one we've got the little black dress and to start with just to show you the dress I thought I'd put it on, I popped it on with the boots and then we're going to look at layering it. Option number one is to layer it up with my tartan blazer that I made. It's sort of oversized but I think it layers quite cool. I think this is quite a cool little outfit. Next option is to layer it with some jumpers. So this time I have got the dress on, but I have got a sort of high-necked um, black jumper on with it and I've just tied this up at the front um, to make it nice and cropped. So it's just a really nice way of casualing down sort of a little black dress that might normally be worn quite dressy and making it a lot more wearable for the everyday and maybe more like worky attire. 
thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you soon if you've enjoyed it please like and subscribe it means the world and i'll see you in the next one we're sewing in the next one i know we've had a little bit of a break but the diy has all been finished off and we're getting back to sewing and it's actually going to be a sort of christmas party make i'll explain a lot more in a new video but it's a very very exciting one